Hey everyone, today's video is about when they react to the news saying that you're dating, even though you're still not. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bagukatsuki. It happens during a battle with Class 1B. It's just a little to get together. The two classes joining for some competitive training. You're working with Bago since he tolerates you the most. Which he would gladly chose you over. Beavis and Butthead. Or, or Kirishima and Kaminari. Sorry about that. He also has a crush on you, but that's a secret. <laughs> you got one on him too, so don't act all innocent. But of course, Monoma happens to be one of the members of the group. Your face off was. He's just messing with you. Teasing you, calling you pet names like Angela and Honey. He's doing it because it clearly pisses Bago off. I'm sorry, where are my manners? Flirting with your significant other. Monoma apologizes as he stabs Bago's shoulder, activating his quirk. We're not dating. You yell as you charge at the blonde that isn't your crush. So you mean the entire class has been lying to me? Monoma pouts. After training, Bago asks you out, stating he'd been thinking of doing it sooner, but he had been caught up with staying top of the class. He was most certainly jealous. He's a Kamidaria. His mom. Please, it's his mom and all might. They're like, y'all congrats on you two getting together. Like legit. That cousin, some parent teach her conference, and all my is like, many things are blossoming, such as young love. And his mom is just like, finally and Maya got together, about downtime. And Dekka's just like, I'm sorry? Like, literally races over to you and is like, they think we're together. And you're just like, well damn, we should be. You said while you're writing your life. Yaku blushes a bit, asks you out on the spot, so he doesn't have to explain to his mom that he wasn't like that. Loki had the biggest crush on you, and was just really nervous that you were too occupied with studies to even notice him. His mom is so proud of him, probably throws him a party or something for your first official date. Please, I love her. Shota Zuriki, tell me why I think this fool finds out about the whole Secret couple thing from Dabby. It's just so bad that it's absolutely perfect. Tell me that this Chris Fias patchwork Don would not take every opportunity to tease Shoto. So you came here to fight me with your true love. Perhaps Romance isn't dead. Literally about to light his ass on fire. And Shoto is just frozen. Yeah, go on, laugh. I know you want to. And just stares at this dude, like, come again? Pardon? Deadass looks over to you, and just raises an eyebrow. I think he thinks we're a couple. You fill in the blanks, and Toruki eventually nods. Well, yes, they are indeed my true love, but I think this might be a bit extreme for a first date. Perhaps when you're done beating your ass, I can take them out for dinner. That's, that was smooth. I guess. Thank you, Kaminari. Honestly, with the flirty comments you letter under each other's social media posts, Google probably be recommend your relationship stuff. Those little heart land messages thing. Matching necklaces. Technology was dropping all the hints. No, but Kershia probably just assumes you're together when Kaminari brings you along to one of the mall traps they usually go on. Dude, you've only had them out. Sick, took you long enough. Kuraz Kamenari. Man, is a tomato. Like he just turns to you. Shaking, throwing a thumbs up. Oh, uh, you like me? You gave him a hug. And kissed his cheek, shoving your hand in his. Yeah, totally. I mean, who wouldn't? Kamenari is back to being smug. He's got a pretty person's hand in his own. He is now taken. He will literally be in debt to Kirishima for getting the two of you together. Like he's on that side. 
somehow or pay Kirshima. Kirshima Jiro. Two words. Tatsuki Bako. Kirshima is super sweet. Like I just see him doing a bunch of really nice things for you. Helping you carry things to your dorm. Or like maybe doing your hair if you ask. Bako is extremely observant. I would just watch how you'll act. But like he's finally so tired of you watching. Act like a couple. He knows you two have to be a thing. So why hasn't Kirshima mentioned that? We got out here together. Just got the sappy shit to already. Baga snaps randomly one day because you're just sitting in his lap. Because all the couch seats are taken. Your cheeks burn. And Kirshima's face turns the same crimson color as his hair. Dude, we're friends. You finish, but there's a hint of sadness. You certainly don't act like. Ask each other out already. Goddamn. Do what up, boss says. Kirshima brings you pretty flowers and asks you out. They're only taking you on a date when you say yes. God, he's so sweet. Kiss him. Ida Tenya. Honestly, I think Aizawa's gonna just have to lecture Ida on social cues. Because Ida may seem like he's just being a good class rep. But walking you two and from class, carrying your bag and tucking care behind your ear, and more certainly beyond what classifies as class rep behavior. A bunch of students from class 1A are gonna be really suspicious, whispering around, making plans to try and catch it happening. Sure enough, it is carrying your bag as you walk back towards the dorm railing. Your pinky is just barely touching before you finally heave a sigh and interlock yours with his. Kevin Icon told him his excitement, congratulating the navy hair class trap on scoring such a hottie. I'm confused. You're congratulating me because you finally asked why I'm out. Ida just turns red and stares at you. No, no, I think you may have misinterpreted. Really? Oh, God. Just like that? You pout, lowering your head. No, I... Ida quite literally has to prove he likes you by kissing you in front of the class. Yes, it's not really a secret anymore. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.